I'm here today with Bill Parrish and GTT Audio in New Jersey. Hey Bill, how are you doing today? Excellent, Peter. How are you? We're here for a continuing company tour and uh, you've got some exciting products to show us today. I can't wait to hear all about them. Yes, well, so you're up here for the Mola Mola Kula and I remember um, I guess it was late February, early March, you were going to come up for the launch along with a bunch of other reviewers and it was right then and there COVID hit and then there were some other things that had happened and you weren't able to make the trip and then we were going to get the Kula in June and well now we're getting you know dealer orders and pre-orders and Mola Mola is building them as, as quick as possible. So. Um, it, it's very exciting and let me tell you about it. But I've taken this here, the Moa Moa uh, Makua preamplifier that's sitting out in front and put that out in front so you can get a good look at it. Mm -hmm. And that is truly the heart of what the Kula is based upon. Because what the, what the, Kula, the Kula is in the rack here. It's the third item down. Actually, let me tell you about the system and then I'll tell you about the Kula. We're using, because I know that you're a, a big analog and Kronos lover, we're using the, the Kronos Sparta turntable with the optional SSCPS power supply, the Kula integrated amp, and then we have this fully loaded, and in a second I'll tell you what that means. Kabbalah Sosna everywhere. And this is the first time that you're up here shooting uh, a system that where we have the Von Schweikert audio uh, these are the ESEs, the Endeavor Special Editions in here. Great speakers, I look forward to you listening to them and the entire system. So, the Kula. What is the Kula? It uses the same, it's an integrated amplifier with options. It uses the same chassis as the Makua preamplifier that's right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Like the Makua, you can get an Arch archival grade phono stage built into it and what that phono stage is is every single analog input in the unit can be routed through that phono stage you can make up to 72 different record equalization curves and it's all done in the analog domain through a Bluetooth app Wow pretty special that's very special pretty special then, if you can pan over to that Tambaki DAC that's sitting on top of the AudioNet Max there, that Tambaki DAC, the same internal DAC section, which is a discrete multi-board configuration, is the DAC option. So what's in the Kula, you can literally order in the Kula a Tambaki DAC built into it. Wow. Then... On the floor, in between this audio rack here and the AudioNet Max and the Tambaki, you have the Kaluga. This is what started uh, Mola Mola. This is the Encore Class D amplifiers. So there are two Encore amplifiers in the Kula, and these uh, have upgraded technology in them. So very special. Mola Mola is moving forward. I mean, there's some uh, there's some serious technology in there. So basic integrated amp mm -hmm. with you know Encore Kaluga technology. Then you've got Makua preamplifier technology. You've got Tambaki DAC technology all into a single box, and it is really the Dutch Army knife. Order it the way you want. You you do get six analog inputs three RCAs, three XLRs. You also get five digital inputs. Wow. On top of that, you've got a Rune endpoint. Take an Ethernet cable, plug it into the wall, subscribe to Tidal and Cobuzz, and you have access to over 100 million songs. Wow. I say we sit down and have a listen. I say we do the same thing. Let's, uh, let's uh, play some vinyl. Can we do that? Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you very much, Bill. That's a great walkthrough. And, uh, Let's do the listening because that's the best part of the video. Here okay. we go. Awesome. Awesome.
are the stars which sing. We sing with our light. We are the birds of fire. We fly over the sky. Our light is a voice. We make a road for the spirit to pass over. For the spirit to pass over. We are like the wind, wrapped in luminous wings. We make a road for the spirit to pass over, for the spirit to pass over.
said this, <laughs> Bill Parrish, I never would have imagined I was listening to a switching amplifier. That's the thing. The, the biggest takeaway here is this sounds like uh, a mega expensive uh, super <laughs> amplifier. This, yeah. is, this is not that far from audio net maxes. This is a big sound, viewers. And I think what really impressed me with this sound was the delineation in the sound stage of the voices. Yes. And I know the speakers well. We've recorded these speakers before. That's a very good speaker. Um, the voice, Lisa's voice, was in her own little pocket. And then when the shakers were in and out in the mix, it, it, the whole room melted away. You could just hear it. And, you know, people go, I don't know about that. We got switching technology. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, a few years ago, 10 years ago, they certainly talked about it. But I think... Yeah. Things like Encore are pretty well, pretty well established, yeah, yeah, established yeah. and accepted yeah. today. Yeah. And the uh, and, and like I had told you up front, the Encore that is now in the Kula mm -hmm. is a is a new role. It's it's an update um, from even the Encores that are in the uh, in the Kalugas. So, oh, how about yeah. that? Well, that's uh, surely that magic is coming through. Yeah, and then uh, the, well, yeah. along with that archival phono stage I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's really a, a great product. Yeah, this uh, what a surprise. I mean, these are two now. Now this system, you have the phono stage, you have the unit, the cool. You don't have to clutter your whole house up or your listening studio up with amplifiers here, amplifiers here, cables here, cables everywhere. This is a nice, neat, and tidy, it's one-stop shopping. It's a Swiss Army knife because... It truly is. It really is because... Or Dutch in this case. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can have the DAC installed in it. Yeah. Or you can have the photo stage installed too. The DAC's a little bit over, was it $8,500 upgrade for the upcharge for the DAC? Yeah. Yep, and 3000 for the photo stage. And you have yourself a all-in-one, totally, totally awesome sounding unit. Swiss Army knife. Of audio, out of order goes to now. Mola mola, awesome, awesome man! Congrats, great sound, Bill. Really good sound. Appreciate it. You guys got to check this amp out. It's awesome. Peter Bernier, reporting for AV Showrooms here with Bill Parrish on a company tour of GTT Audio. Thanks for viewing. Thanks. Bye.